Hey guys. Well, today we're going to be putting the heads over here on this budget 302. And I want to point something out first before you even think about getting your heads and putting them on the on the car, on the block. Uh, you'll notice what you're staring at here are the uh, cylinder head dowel pins. And these are very, 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 very important. I can't stress enough to you the importance of these. Uh, these are what makes sure your head is perfectly aligned on your block prior to setting a head gasket or bolting anything down. Don't just rely on the head bolts to align the cylinder head to the block because it's a very precise machined uh, specificity that needs to be aligned perfectly. They're, these dowels are here for a reason. I picked these trick flow dowels up at the local performance shop Gearhead. Uh, uh, 12 bucks, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, uh, you know, um, they're a real high quality material. And let me show you over here where they're located at on the block, for those of you who don't know. You're going to see here, I have one installed. You get four in the pack. Uh, small block Ford requires four. And they look like a, uh, like a little fitting here. And basically, they just simply go into the block and you set them in with a, with a hammer evenly. Uh, Slow and steady wins the race, so take your time. If they're going in crooked, pull them back out. You don't want to crack your head. And basically what you're going to do, you're just going to go ahead and, and find the receptacle here, which is where one of your head bolts go. You want to go ahead and align that in there first and make sure you're perfectly straight. And you're going to give it a couple of taps with the, with the hammer, with a little sledge. Get them set in there, make sure they're all perfectly aligned and they're properly seated. And then, and only then, you can go on to setting your head gaskets and then getting your heads and, and slapping them on here. So I wanted to make sure we documented this very important part in the process because if you go ahead, you can install the heads without them. Go ahead and put the heads on. And if those heads are even a tiny bit off here, you're going to have all sorts of problems and things aren't going to run right. So save yourself time, save yourself a headache. Contact your local performance shop, get on summitracing.com, do whatever you gotta do. Make sure that these are in place before you go any further. It's very often overlooked, and sometimes, you know, your machine shop, sometimes they'll get stuck you know, over here in the head. You know, they'll get stuck on the underside of the head here, uh, and, and the machine shop will lose them, and then you don't even know anything's going on. You go to slap them on there. So make sure you pick these up, and you'll be good to go. Hey guys, the next step in the uh, cylinder head installation here on the Budget 302, is of course going to be your very important head gaskets. Now since we're not going for a whole ton of horsepower here with this build, stock replacements are going to be okay. Uh, these are the uh, typical 9333 PT1s by Felpro. They're the uh, Permatorque uh, Blue Stripe series that don't require retorquing. So this is actually a really good uh, head gasket for the money and you can pick these babies up for 20 bucks a piece uh, at advance. I'll show you my bill here. Total with tax, 42.78. Uh, so advanced auto parts here. So that's where I got these. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these unpackaged here, inspect them, make sure everything's good. Uh, <clears throat> primarily what you wanna uh, consider when you're doing the head gaskets and the head installation is make sure you're working in a clean environment. Uh, I have my workbench cleaned off, free of debris, free of any foreign materials, uh, garage is closed, everything is clean and, and ensured of no, uh, no foreign materials anywhere. So you wanna make sure your workspace is clean, and uh, you can move from one end of the garage to the other uh, without you know, bumping into stuff and fumbling around because this is a process that you really want to take your time at. So let's go ahead and uh, let's, unpack, let's uh, undo these gaskets here, get them out of the package. I'm gonna show you how you lay them down on your heads next. Okay, here we are at the cylinder head and we have our uh, Felpro head gasket here. Um, <clears throat> notice the dowel pins that we just set. You want to make sure that the orientation of the head gasket uh, all the holes line up. So you notice you got two holes here. Those are going to line up there. Your dowel pin is going to line up here, etc. So I'm just going to slip the head gasket on over that dowel. Coming over to here. We're going to slip the gasket onto this dowel. And it should be a little tight because that's what you want. You want a perfect, you want a perfect fit from left to right. So there's our overall shot of the head gasket installed. And this is ready now for your new, make sure you use new head bolts, which let me show you what we're using here. We're using ARPs. Uh, these are part number 154-3601, small block Ford kit. Uh, you need to use new head bolts when you're doing your head gaskets. Don't skimp on it and uh, think you're gonna use your old head bolts because they have a certain torque rating. So once they're torqued, that's it. So now you, once you've pulled everything off, the heat's uh, abuse those bolts for a number of years, you want to make sure you use new bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and open up these bolts so you can see what they look like and then we're going to lay a head down here. Okay, we got our bolts here and I just opened up the cellophane packaging here and I want to see what you get. 
You open up the box, we got some, uh, well, we got an ARP sticker, it looks like, so they can promote their company. They're a damn good company. Uh, we got some installation instructions here, which is basically uh, just telling you the installation method here and uh, how to have proper head engagement. Make sure you clean everything. Make sure you um, place your washers in the right spot, etc. So you can, guys can go on ahead and read that. Uh, here's a notice that's needed for uh, exchange or warranty. And they have good packaging in here. Got some uh, fastener assembly lubricant that you're going to apply to the threads. Uh, and this is going to actually help you get the right torque specification. Uh, so make sure you use this. And we have our uh, series of washers in here. Uh, these are all the same size, I believe, on this small block Ford. And then we have our bolts, uh, which are the longer ones and then the shorter ones. So let's go ahead, um, get all this stuff ready and laid out and get this uh, assembly lubricant opened up and everything ready. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and show you the installation process of how I set these heads. Okay, so when we're ready to actually set the head onto the block, what I'm doing now is I'm using some of my Ultra Slick here. And I'm just putting a little bit on my finger and I'm putting them on the, on the new dowels so it allows the head to slip onto the dowel very easily or easier than it would without any lubricant. So now I'm going to take my cylinder head here very carefully and get it ready to be able to be, be positioned onto the head. And you want to go dowels first, always dowels first. And I'm just looking at the dowel marks. Here, on that side. And I'm going to lightly set the head onto the block here and onto its dowels. And go ahead and we got, there we are. Now our head is evenly set onto the dowels, and then as we torque our bolts down, it'll go ahead and pull that head directly onto that dowel pin. So now, let's go ahead and get our some of our bolts ready here. Your longer bolts with the washer on it go in the center. Your shorter ones go across the front on the outside. You got one, two, three, four, five on the outside, one, two, three, four, five on the inside. So you got 10 total on each head. So what I'm doing now, Slipping it into the slot here, making sure the threads are good. They are. So let's go ahead and uh, take your uh, torque, your assembly uh, lubricant here, and get some here evenly on the threads. You can be kind of uh, liberal with this stuff here. I like to put it on two sides here, just like that. And then uh, just kind of work it into the threads a little bit. Wipe the excess off your fingers. Go ahead and set the first bolt. And you're going to repeat this for all the bolt holes. And then you can start going ahead and tightening stuff down and torquing stuff down. You want to really make sure that you don't start just torquing them down one by one because there's a specific torque sequence you want to follow. And you also want to make sure they're all going to thread in first before you start getting into torquing them down. So. That's just a little tip, and I'm going to go ahead and set all these bolts in here, and I'll pick it up on the next clip here. Okay, now that you have all of your ARP bolts all threaded in and nothing feels cross-threaded, everything goes in nice and smooth, you can start by initially setting uh, your, all your bolts down to the point of resistance, uh, and then you want to start to go ahead and follow the um, proper torque uh, sequence. Uh, enough to get to 70 foot-pounds on these particular uh, head bolts. So these are these ARPs do require a 70 foot-pound uh, torque uh, specification, uh, and you must follow the proper uh, small block for torquing sequence, which is basically working your way from the middle and then working your way outward, um, which I will demonstrate. Now, you may have some old timers out there or uh, some guys that do it differently. This is how I do it. If you guys have a way uh, that's different, that's fine with you, but I try to, I'm going to try to follow uh, what the engineers at Ford say because uh, there's a reason why they're engineers at Ford. So right now all I'm doing is just basically going through on this little guy and I'm making sure that these are all snug. Uh, I'm not tightening anything down, we're just getting them snug. 
Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the torque wrench, set it to 70 foot-pounds, and then begin torquing. So let me finish this up here, and then I'll show you how I torque these babies down. Okay, guys, with your torque wrench on the ready, loaded with your half-inch socket, and your torque specification set to 70 foot-pounds, you want to refer to Felpro's manual here and look at that torque sequence, and that's exactly how we're going to start off. So it starts off with the very top center bolt, which is right here. Uh, and it wants it at 70 foot-pounds of torque. So I went on ahead before I started the video and I got this baby to 70 here. So you can hear my wrench here. That one's at 70. And your engine stand's going to want to move on you a little bit here because it is 70 foot-pounds. The next one is this one. This is number two. It's the center one at the very bottom of the exhaust side here. And we're bringing it to a snug setting here. And we're going to get into our torque. Here's 70 foot-pounds. Right there. Then it wants us to move over to here, which is one directly over to the right. This is number three. 70 foot-pounds. Number four is this one directly below it. Five is the one to the left of the top center one. Six is directly below that one. Seven is the very far right one, which is over here. Eight is directly below that. Engine wants to move around on you. Nine is over here, top left. Ten is the very last one on the left. And that is proper torque sequence of the small block Ford 302 cylinder heads and as you can see our ARP hardware is there the washers are all present we have our sealant and now we're ready to just basically repeat the process on the other side so I thank you guys for watching this video um, I hope my camera work was as good as possible without having a cameraman here in the shop if you have any questions guys make sure you go to 302budgetbuild.com or pipe some comments below thanks